Do you know the group card? Oh, I am fully aware of who they are. Uh, just because I'm so bad for doing this. I probably shouldn't even say this. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm so bad for saying this. Probably shouldn't. Um, I know the group because my ex at that time uh, cheated on me. With one of the members. <laughs> I'm fully aware. Well, I'm not gonna expose who, I'm not gonna expose who my ex is. Um, but yes, I'm fully fucking aware who they are because it was a, uh, hmm. I'm saying like, I honestly feel like, yes, guys and girls can be friends, but if you, in your heart, know that something's up, something's a little too weird, if you know that they're texting good morning, good night every fucking day, that's fucking weird, fam. That's so weird. And my dumb ass was like, you know what? They're like friends, right? They're friends. Like, I, like, me and Benji are like fucking close, like family. We don't do that. We never do that. But, you know, we still text like we're like actual, like blood related. That's what, like, we think of each other, right? And that's how I chalked it up to. Long story short, motherfucker lied to me. He lied to me about it. Um, I found out real fucking fast. And I just kind of kept quiet. I didn't really have any proof and then I got proof. And I was like, bitch. The difference is kind of obvious, it do be. But the thing is though, with K-pop, with the industry, dating, not being official is such a norm because of the culture, because of the cookie cutter image where you can't really be in a relationship without getting shit on, right? Not just from the public, not just from the fans, but also from the companies, right? Especially if you two are in different companies, that's a whole ass fucking scandal, right? That you have to deal with. And the possibility of losing your career over, right? So. It is a breeding ground for cheaters. It is literally a playground, like a whole fucking casino of just cheaters. And you're literally gambling to see, I wonder if this guy or this girl is gonna be faithful to me when nobody's gonna know that we're dating, we're not official. So what are the chances on top of the fact if this person's fucking around with somebody else, there's a high chance that you're never gonna find out. Why? Because keeping it off the low is the number one fucking rule of dating or just casually dating, right? Like, that's the thing. Don't get me wrong though, rumors do spread. They spread real fucking fast. But I'm just saying like, it is, it is what it is. You're so intense, what do you mean? 